Okay, so uh, I think this is going to be the last of the ancillary things around the uh, Marvel Studios film Black Panther before I get into the actual film. Um, now this one, I just want to talk about a little bit about uh, crews, your, your crew. Um, so let me start by going to um, uh, to my crew. This is, this is so you'll understand. Um, um, my claim to fame, if that is most people don't know, uh, is uh, audio drum. I work in audio drum. Um, now, when in my in my heyday, when I started my group back in the in the eighties, I had a core group of actors. Okay. Now, the most important thing in audio drum, when doing audio drum, is basically theater for radio. Okay. Um, uh, or theater for the microphone. Um, um, the most important thing in audio drama is your engineer. Okay, your engineering thing. When I first started, I had to do my own engineering. You know, I tried to bring an engineer from the very beginning, but uh, when I was telling her what I wanted to do, she said it was impossible, so she went, so I had to do it myself. But it's, it's all right. Anyway, so that's the most important thing. And then, uh, you know, you had your, I had my core group of, of actors, it was called a, a, almost like a, almost like Watson & Wells, my, my repertory company, let's put it that way. And then, of course, you have uh, me. I, I produced every one that I ever did, and um, uh, most of the time, I, I, uh, most of the ones I did was adapted. So I adapted a lot of them. I, I would I would direct most of them. Sometimes I brought other directors in when they got real big. And then, of course, you had your your, your um, the producer, but also you have to have a producing. Let's let's call it let's call it a a, a, a producing institution. Okay. So those are your those are your ingredients. Now to show you how this works in theater, um, uh, when I directed a, a, a play uh, called Oya, oh yeah, uh, you know you have to give your writer the right. Um, um, I'm the director. You have your your put your production designer or your your, you know, your set designer if you want. Um, um, you have your music a director and you have your producer and your producing institution. So when we did Oya, our producing institution was National Black Theater. And our producer was uh, the great Tunde Samuels, the late great Tunde Samuels, Peace and Blessings upon his eternal soul. Uh, David Rice uh, is, the, is the writer, um, I'm the director. Um, then you had, um, uh, and then, then you had the rest, the rest of the crew. Okay, uh, okay. So that's what you have. Now in film, okay, it gets little, and, and, and most of the time when you have a, a, a good group going, you go for a long time. So with my audio dramas, my crew stayed with for the whole time I was, I, I, was, I was producing from basically 1986, 87, 89, I guess, no, about 86 until, uh, to 96. You know, it was my, so, so for 10 years I had the same uh, core group. Uh, so I, I just, I, let me go back a little bit. My, um, um, uh, my great engineer, Jake Glass, he came to me about 1991, like that. But um, that's about as soon as you get your, your core group, and if you, you have certain shorthands you use, and all of that stuff. Now with Black Panther, uh, the core group, let me just, uh, the core group I'm talking about was a different kind of setup. The institution, of course, would be Disney or, or Marvel Studios, okay? And it's important to have an institution behind you. They just put it that way. You have to have some kind of thing behind you like that. Um, and then their 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 executive producer is Nate Moore, so he would be the producer kind of thing. The producer, well, that's just directly involved with the project. A lot of times you have a producer, and they're not well. They do a lot of other things, but then your executive producer is working with with the cast. And then I'm reading off the thing. And then his editor, uh, Michael uh, Schreiber. Uh, was with him from the from him being uh, Ryan Coogler, who was a director, with him from the beginning. So he did all the all the films uh, that that they did: No Fruitville Station, uh, Creed, and now uh, Black Panthers. All the films, like three. Like, but I mentioned Austin Wells, but you know uh, Ryan Coogler, like he did. His, he's like he he's like on a course to be like Austin Wells of the film. He started very young, right? But and with his big success, big success being. Basically, well, Fruit for Soaps you know, was a success, but Creed was one he's known for, right? But Black Panther changes the whole, you know, the, the, it affects the industry. It affects the industry. It affects um, the, the, the history of cinema, this, this film, well, okay? Just like Citizen Kane affected this, uh, the, you know, the industry. Then you have uh, Rachel Morrison, who's his cinematographer. That's a very important person. 
okay? And she was with him there with Fruitville Station from the beginning. But then, like, for some reason, she didn't do Creed. I don't know what happened with that. Maybe she had another project. Um, maybe they, because it was a bigger budget, they insisted somebody else come in with him. But she's done cinematography on, on a lot of, of, of films with black people, like, like uh, Mudbound, uh, Dope. Um, those those kind of things. So she knows like black people, you know. Like, I want to say it like that, but because if you have a lot of black cast, you have to be sort of sensitive to certain things that you learn on the way. Uh, Look what uh, uh, Gorenson is this the person who did the score. Now the score is different than the incidental than the music of the of the, of the movie. And it, back back in the day, <laughs> like say for when when Shaft came out, um, uh, because I say mentioned Shaft only because uh, Isaac Hayes, who did the, the music for Shaft, also that that day he did the scoring and the whole music thing. And I remember when that came out, and uh, he got an Academy Award for that because uh, Sammy Davis Jr. went on a went on a campaign to make sure he got Academy Award, and he and he, he did. So but back then you had, you do one person who did the music and everything, like, but then somewhere I guess in the, I don't know eighties or something like that, it started split off. You had the score, then you had the the incidental music. I don't, I don't know why they did that. So Ludwig uh, Gernsen is, is uh, I guess he's, he's Swedish. No, his last name is like Swedish. You know, little uh, things in there. Um, now he's been, but he's been involved with, with, with like he's, uh, he's uh, what's that, uh, uh, that Gambino, Baby Gambino, or Little Gambino, whatever, you know, the, the Donald Glover. You know, alter ego for his rap thing. But he's worked with uh, a lot of different forms of music. But he's been with, um, he's, he's, he, I think he, again, he's, he's been with, um, with Ryan Coogler from the beginning also, okay? Hannah Bleacher, uh, 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 Bleachler, he, she is the production designer, and she's been, been him, with him from the beginning also, Fruitville Station, Creed, and now, um, and now, um, uh, Black Panther. Uh, so that's your that's his core people that's you know has been with from the beginning keep on Ruth, Ruthie Carter uh, just came to him for um, for Black Panther um, and she's had a long history you know starting of course with, uh, with Spike Lee uh, with a little fun fact you know first time you you've probably seen uh, Black Panther uh, at, at one screen was actually it do the right thing you know that cat, the, 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 the crazy dude. No, I should say, I should say, like nobody's crazy. Everybody's all a little damaged. And he always had the comic, the Black Panther comic. It was, I think they wanted to rename the Pizza Parlor, some uh, uh, Panther, or whatever it is. But anyway, 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 Spike is great because he, he, so many people went through this. It's called the Spike Factory, you know. Then it was uh, really amazing. I'm, uh, it's 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 a shame that he didn't have an institution behind him also because he probably could have did bigger, th bigger things. But it's a di if it's a different road, maybe one of these days, you know, some big studio will get some big money to um, to, to do something like that. Maybe with this whole uh, this whole movement, and since it's international, maybe some actually African country or something like that will will sponsor Spike, you know, to do some really big big film. Which I'm hoping that, um, when I get to the end of this whole series, um, talking about Black Panther, I have an idea, not an idea, but you know. A, a way forward, as we say here in South Africa. Okay, so Ruthie Carter is now with him. Uh, but another fun fact about Ruth, Ruth, Ruth Carter is that she was the uh, she was the costume designer on um, on Meteor Man. So this is not her first rodeo with uh, you know with superheroes. Okay, Meteor Man. You know Robert Townsend. Okay. So it's a very important to have this this crew because that's that's your crew and and also I guess. Um, with the now they sign multi-year contracts or whatever like that, but uh, in fact, let me talk about what, uh, the, the possibilities of, of what happens. So when when your other people go out other places, they pick up other skills, meaning other contacts or whatever have you, and then you know then they come in. Like for instance, also I think Ruth Carter did, did costuming for Marshall, which was a Chadwick Boseman Boseman a, a film, and so they knew each other. So people sort of know each other, and this is very important. This is why a lot of people don't understand about relationships. You can't be distant somebody as you rise, and because you never know when you have to run into them again, or when they badmouth you from the from from the side, because you know that's it's just like let's call it office politics. So in Hollywood, it's kind of strange. You know, everybody knows each other. There, you know, there's I won't say it's incestuous, but it's incestuous. You have to have that 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 hookup, as so to speak. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what, here's what I'm really, really, really hoping for Ryan Coogler. Um, everybody else, they'll, they'll do what they do for the director. And that is this. Um, like I said before, I heard that he wants 
to um, do this thing about the, the whole um, thing about the Atlanta school system and how they, the, the black teachers and the principal was trying to help the kids out or whatever it is and they got thrown in jail or whatever it is. But then he's going to, so that's sort of a consciousness movie too. Uh, but then he wants to do, um, uh, at some particular point, he wants to uh, Massa Musa, the richest man in the world, uh, from, from the Empire of Mali, or the Malian Empire, and, and, uh, uh, like that, which is an African thing. So here's what, um, I, let me do it right now. Here's what I'm thinking. It would be really, it's, with, with the cash that he has, he's like a huge, you know, he can sort of, de not demand, but he can request certain things. Now, uh, let me say this before I go, in fact, in fact this is good. Understand this. Black Panther, put out by Marvel Studios, it's not, it's a, it's not a, I won't say it's not a black film. It has all these black things, but 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 we we Africans, you know, or descendants of chattel slaves, right? When we do something, we all everybody expects us to do it about us. Okay, this is a kind of different kind of thing. This was, this is a film. It's almost like uh, 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 black Americans, if you will, uh, making a film about. Africa, but not Africa as a continent, not just one. Well, Wakanda is like the uh, continent. Oh, sorry, I guess the. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Um, good, that shit, that, that, that beeping up from the car. Um, if you look at, instead of saying Wakanda, think of it as, as Africa, okay? Uh, so it's a, it's, I don't say a love letter, but it's, I gotta sneeze again. It's a, uh, <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's, it's not a film about, Black America. It's a film about uh, uh, African consciousness. Let's put it that way. So if you expect it to speak to Black American issues, then you're just, you're not going to get it, right? And and, and I, I guess if he does this movie about uh, about the, the the school system in Atlanta, what happened with that? That would be a Black American film about an American theme, okay? So that's where the trick is. I think people are getting sort of confused with this with this whole thing. But here's what I would love. If he does a film about Manson Musa, how does he get the finance? What's 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 what is the you know what's what's gonna be uh, the institution behind it? I vote, I think, that the African Union, hear me clearly, the African Union political organization should be the drive force. If if he gets with the Af if the African Union, I'm not saying they can do this, but if they can, if, say for instance, you want a budget of one billion dollars, I think uh, but the Black Panther was like a two hundred million dollar film, which they made back already, I guess. Uh, so if you have a budget of one billion dollars, talking about Manson Munson because it's a big thing, then then he will be able to do that. It'll be set another record, but it will be again about Africa, an African American doing a thing about Africa. Remember, a lot of these things are, are what we call international now, so it doesn't matter where you particularly come from. And Black Panther is a perfect example. All those people I mentioned, you know, some Americans who were from all over this so, so called diaspora. So to me, um, the, as he gets his crew together, and it can be an international crew, and remember also um, uh, this whole thing about going to different countries like uh, they did South Korea, but it, has, it still hasn't opened up in China yet because Chinese New Year's is happening, so they sort of clear their boards for all the Chinese stuff, right? But he has to they have to open up in Japan, uh, they have to open up in China, they have to open up in uh, Russia, right? So. What's interesting is that they've got all this, they've made all this money already. When they open up in China, it's gonna be like, it's gonna blow all kinds of things away. He's gonna like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's, it's gonna blow people away. I'm not, I'm leaving Russia and Japan, Japan out of it for sure. But, but if that money comes in from China, if there's a box office success in China, you, it's gonna blow people's minds. This movie is gonna make more than a billion dollars, okay? Now, when that happens, all kinds of things come. All kinds of people are trying to get on his his paper. And if he wants to do a thing about Mansa Musa, what's interesting to me in terms of film history, if he does that, it goes through the African Union somehow, right? He can even have a lot of Af a lot of African countries have armies that really don't do anything, you know. So if you if if they have an army, he can ha he can have. Um, I'm skipping around. Let me just explain this. Back in the early days of film, when, when like I saw a six and a half hour version of uh, War and Peace, you know, the Russian 
kind of thing, um, a long, long, long time ago. But back then, when they was making those, uh, when they made these big films, uh, the Russian stuff like that, like in 19, 19, 1913, whatever it was, uh, they could, they would use the entire Russian army as extras. Now think of what that would be like, you know, to have the resources of all of, of, of Western Africa. Let's say, you know, Western Africa's Malian Empire is Western. If they had those resources and can use, you know, you, you, you see where I'm going with this? It could be such a huge film, I mean, huger than anybody could even dream of. Um, that's what I'm thinking of, the T for the Patterson's Technic Trench to Tibet. Let you know what I only suspect. <laughs>